you know, having to do what I do now, which is every time I have to do my oil change, I'm trying to figure out, okay, where, where did I put this? Where did I put that? So I actually use two different types of devices to remove the oil filter, one for the Saab and a different one for the truck because of just where the where they actually are underneath the vehicle it's just more convenient to use one tool versus the other plus it, I, I do believe the filters are a different size as well but regardless one of them is kind of like a an oil filter plier if you will that clamps down that one's a little bit more challenging to get in, uh, in on the truck I used it on the truck last time because I couldn't find my end cap socket adapter for doing the job I when I was cleaning up the garage or shifting things around I found the end cap socket adapter one however I know in my mind I had it just as I'm thinking about it right now I'm not a hundred percent sure where I put it so I'm hoping when I go home that it will just be in a very obvious location so that I can you know get this job done as quickly as possible Part of my mind is like just buy another one and if you find the old one then then use it but that's one of the reasons why i end up with like a whole bunch of the same thing because it it was a pain in the butt to take off the oil filter the last time not because i didn't have the tool but because i couldn't find it and i had to use a tool that wasn't as efficient for the job which made it obviously a messier job it made it a little take a little bit longer than it should have taken and you know it is what it is but i gotta i gotta do better i gotta do better that's that's for sure what i would like to do is if i'm thinking ahead and that's kind of like one of my things i'm always trying to think ahead so if i can put this oil change and spark plug thing on a on a on a schedule on a fixed schedule because right now it's i kind of have this internal clock that will just tick and then i'm like okay it's time to change the oils time or check the oil or the spark plugs and then i change it i do the spark plugs about basically every other oil change but i do the oil changes i want to say close to every three to four months or so that i haven't had any problems with that as far as having any you know engine problems i mean my cars are old my truck leaks a little bit of oil uh, the Saab, I believe, leaks a little bit of oil as well. But as you keep that oil changed and, and, and cycled out, you know, the truck runs pretty good. It's able to pass small. So that's good. Uh, in the long run, well, if I had a third vehicle and a proper shop for auto mechanics, then I would have already taken the heads off of this particular truck and replaced them. However, since we do just have the two vehicles at this time, I'm not going to do that until I know for certain that, you know, I'm going to be able to flow through that job. Because obviously, if I had a third vehicle, then it wouldn't cause any issue if I took the truck apart and I wasn't able to get it back together, like in a, in a timely fashion. I actually did some damage to one of my vehicles because I was rushing some years ago. So I... I uh, I don't do that anymore. I, I make sure I map out and see if I have the time to complete the job. I wish I would have done this oil change yesterday, but I was just feeling super lazy. So I didn't do it. And now I have to do it now. Okay, there's always going to be somebody. So this right here is what I'm going to use to take off the oil filter, which is up here, and it fits well, so I just have to find out which socket this is. I think it's a 3.8. Things first, let's loosen this here.
All right, so that's part one of this oil change, draining the oil. And then next we'll work our way over to doing the filter. As you can see, this is not a highly complicated job. It's just something that you require the desire to do and then the tools to do and you can knock it out. Now sometimes when I do this, I'll bring out two pans, I'll leave one here for this to continue to drain and then I'll move over to the filter and use a separate pan to drain that. But today, I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of clean this up. Go ahead and wipe it off here a bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug it back up. Let's tighten this back up. Again, the filter is right here. I'm gonna use the socket. Yes. Put this up in here. Put this on be ready to go. Back just a bit. All right. All right. We're going to be replacing the oil with uh, this 5W30 Edge High Mileage. This is a fully synthetic oil. And I have my filter here. Let's see if this is the right one. Take a look there. See the two filters. All right. So what I like to do is take a little bit of oil. Out of here, it's fresh oil. Run it along the gasket here. So we're just going to hand tighten that in, like that. There we go. So the filters changed, the old oil has been drained. So let's go ahead and uh, put the car back on the ground and put some more oil in it. We know this car is going to take six uh, total quarts. So this container here has five quarts in it and then I have an extra quart in there to fill up the rest and that should be done for this vehicle. Should have used my taller funnel.
is 144 and yeah I didn't time when I started this but bottom line is it didn't take that long all right let's get it down on the ground